Hey everyone, welcome back to the KB Cabinet Channel. My name is Rob. And in this video, I'm going to answer a question uh, that some uh, buddy uh, asked me on, on one of my videos about designing a vanity. And uh, shout out to Berkshire Embroidery Printing 8956. I said, I saw that you measured the back and put a circle in using the CAD option. Uh, and he's referring to the program Cabinet Vision. And then he said, is there a way to cut that circle out using the screen to machine in Cabinet Vision? Uh, yes, there is. So if we jump into Cabinet Vision and I go to 3D, we have a, a vanity cabinet and I put a circle in it. Um, and you can see that it cuts it out. And so what we're going to do, if we return out, so got your plan view, cabinet vision, we're going to go into elevation, we're going to double click this cabinet, and the easiest way is to go into the plan view where you're looking down, um, and we're going to right click on the back, and we're going to go unfinished back, and then we're going to hit edit. And this brings us into our cam editor, and this is where basically everything is, uh, we're gonna we're gonna make our shapes. So here's a 3D view. But if we come over here to the tab that says Cam, uh, we'll just delete this out for a minute. Um, this is what you're gonna see, and this is uh, you're, you're gonna have your part here, which is the back, and then over here we're gonna have a basically it's it's a 3D view, and it's kind of uh, letting us see what work plane do we have selected. Now that is important because depending on where you do this, like if you, you know, if, if you're, you know, you, if you're wanting to measure from the, let's say the inside of the cabinet, that's, you want to make sure you're in the front view where if we select back, it's going to be as if you're looking at the back of the cabinet from behind it. Um, so it's just however your mind wants to think about it, uh, that's really, uh, all it is is uh, for that but so basically all you got to do is start drawing and up here we have our tools um, and we do have some pre pre kind of uh, uh, options we can do like line boring holes if you want a single hole dado um, but let's say you have you measured your plumbing or whatever it is and you have a specific size hole you can do you can use your measuring tool to measure in um, to find where you want and then wherever your intersection is you can click and you can make your hole um, and then you can see right here it, it just puts it in so if we go back into our cam editor we'll go edit uh, when you click the hole the circle over here you're gonna have some options um, you can set your diameter like say if we want a six inch hole um, and you can set to you know you can you can use this to do your position uh, so really you just get a circle down and then you can move it and, and resize it if you want 20 you know whatever Let's see, you know 20 we're going if we put one in one just so you can see so it's going left to right uh, so as the numbers increase uh, you're, you're gonna move this way so as you're taking your measurements um, you know you can move it around this way um, it's, it's easier for me to, to do that than trying to drag it around you know you can be more product precise all right here's your, your your Z depth these are where it you know, it gets important that you're kind of having your, you know, you know what it is, the thicknesses of your materials, and, you know, because cabinet vision, you know, when you're using something like V-Carve, cabinet vision is a little bit more, uh, I'll say, it's a little more complex. There's a lot of relationships between things going on, and so you want to make sure you're putting the correct uh, information in. And, for example, this is a half-inch back uh, on this particular cabinet, so I want it to go a half-inch deep. Um, this is your path type. It's a path versus pocket. Like we're just we're just gonna what that's telling the the machine is just follow the path. That's it. So it's gonna circle around. 
Um, tool, auto select. Okay. What I leave mine on auto select. So what that is saying is that it is going to look into the tool library that has been built in a signed out for these operations uh, on the back end and it's going to say hey this is what we always use for the cutouts so we're going to go ahead and apply it to to um, this operation uh, in my case it would be my 3 8 compression bit that cuts everything out and so it's saying basically whatever you use to cut out everything else we're going to assign it there that being said you can go in and pick uh, whatever tool you want and these are my tools and I'll show you here in a second where you see the uh, where you can find out what tools you have like if you were not the one who set up cabinet vision and either a tech set it up um, or you started working somewhere after it's already been set up and you don't know what tool library is what the library is set up um, so I just hit OK we're gonna leave it at auto select uh, for me and if we we're gonna back out of here a second and we'll test this out so we're gonna go to screen to machine and see if it puts that circle in for us um, room one we got a lot of parts a lot of stuff going on we're just gonna select the unfinished back and I'm using this is cabinet vision version 22 um, by the way, but I'm on version 23. <coughs> Sorry, all this works the same way. Um, so if we go into our screen and machine, we can see it put the circle there. If we go into our machine simulation, we can see it cut that out for us. Um, yeah, so the cool thing about the cam editor, uh, you can go in and you can put pretty much whatever you want. Caveat to that is it's not going to apply it. It's only going to apply it to to this part um, and not you know not throughout the job. Um, so you can think of like your your you know your cam editor is basically like hey if I want to alter like this particular this part on this cabinet. Um, you know, as opposed to like a, a an operation that you want to spread out across like every cabinet, like every time you drop a cabinet into cabinet vision, you want it to, you know, cut the like if this was a sink cabinet and you knew 100% of the time where the plumbing was going to be, you say cut this out on every vanity right here. Uh, the cam editor is not going to do that. So whatever you do on this part, it should just be for this part so you don't have to worry about it carrying over into other parts um, you know don't go into too much detail I don't want to make this video too long but uh, there's <clears throat> there's a lot of cool stuff you can you know just kind of get in and experiment with um, but if for say let's draw this circle just one more time if uh, you don't know well come on we want to select that back again and edit if I if I don't know what my tools are and I want a specific tool set for it I'm going to show you where all your tools are so if we close out of this and we come up here to tool you can see your library so this is the nest okay these are just some drop downs but all your tooling should be in this drop down and this is going to be based on <clears throat> your machine and you know what tools you have and how they are named. So if you do use a lot of cabinet vision and you are also using the CNC, um, you know it's a good idea to know what tools you have and then how they are named and assigned uh, in cabinet vision. Um, and you could have some that are set, so like the shaker door set. This is for MDF. I've actually got three bits here. So you can go in. I, I, I've got the Vortex 8300 that does my main hogging. 
and then I've got a quarter inch down shear and then each uh, and so this is actually grouping all those into an operation to where they all work together but anyway you can go in and see like T5 that's tool 5 so when I'm in the cam editor I know uh, I name like if you have a multi bank I always put the nut tool number first before I uh, name the tool because that way you can quickly uh, look at it and say oh that's tool number three makes it, e it makes it easy uh, when you're doing this kind of stuff so anyway I hope that that answers uh, your question if not uh, let me know and I will try to address it in a different way but uh, hopefully that helps um, you guys and uh, we will see you in the next video